Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for MotionTutorials.net with a Cinema 4D R18 new feature video on inverted ambient occlusion. So inverted ambient occlusion or inverted AO is a really cool new feature in our render settings that takes the idea of ambient occlusion that which helps to create realistic looking renders by creating those contact shadows and pointing it in the opposite direction so it's inside of the object. It can create some really unique effects like we see here to create totally different looking renders than we would normally get. And all we gotta do is change one checkbox. So here in Cinema 4D, we have a quick little setup. There's this little scene with a character and a ring and some basic reflective material so we see this. And if we go to our render settings, I've turned on ambient occlusion under effect ambient occlusion. And now there's this new invert direction checkbox. And if I check that on, what it's gonna do is point the AO in the opposite direction so here's our standard render, and now if I do a render with it checked on, you can see how dramatically different these two renders look, and that's because it's taking this idea of ambient occlusion, pointing it inwards, and then applying these settings. So this might just look like it's darkening it, but what's really cool, if we take a look at our scene and tweak some of these settings, we could use this to mimic the idea of subsurface scattering without having to blow up the render time. So what we could do is, Rather than just the default AO settings, we could change these colors a bit. So let's say we wanted to give it kind of like a purplish look and do a quick area render. Look at those effects that we're getting. It's making that pretty interesting. And we can even take our maximum ray length down. So it pulls it really close to those edges. And that's creating a completely different looking shot if we pan our camera around and take a look at it from different angles than we would normally get. Look at that difference. All of that purplish color and rendering is all coming from this inverted ambient occlusion. So it's a pretty neat feature to play around with and keep in mind. Now let's take a look at a second project. This one's a little more complex. Here we have these 3D gears and they've been dropped into this Veronai fracture and using the new push apart and a, a random effector to move the pieces around. So this is some new MoGraph updates. If you wanna check out that video real quick, be sure to click on that thumbnail. There's a lot of updates to the MoGraph system in R18 that give you a ton of new features like this Verano fracture and some really cool stuff. And if we render this scene out, it ends up looking like this. We get some cool reflections on the inside and this is what we're looking at. And I'll do a quick area render just to get a rough idea of what our scene looks like. So this is what we're looking at. And what's cool about using it in this setting when we set it up here in a second is that there's a lot of detail and little crevices and nooks and crannies where ambient occlusion would be used to make this feel realistic. Well, same idea, if we go to our render settings in this project, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna invert it, and let's give it some bright color and see what happens. We'll put it at like a bright pink, kind of balance this scene. Same idea, we'll take our maximum ray length down. Those are kind of my quick three steps if you wanna create a little test of seeing what inverted AO will give you. You can see how dramatically that changed the entire look of the render by just checking on that invert direction checkbox and tweaking a couple settings. So it's a really cool new feature and you can take a render from here to here where you get this cool looking almost rock candy like material just by inverting the direction of the ambient occlusion. It's really neat and it's really fun to tweak those settings. Be sure to check it out. It's in the render settings in Cinema 4D R18. And if you want to check out more new features for Cinema 4D R18, be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I have full breakdowns on all of the new features, including my top five new features, MoGraph updates, the new thin film shader, the awesome new Vernoy fracture, and more new features. And don't forget to check out some of the new Cinema 4D products I have in the online store at motiontutorials.net slash store, where you can pick up Cinema 4D templates, lighting and rendering assets, and new packs for 360 Environment Maps Pro, which are packs of 8K environment photos, assets, and the Cinema 4D templates to quickly and easily make your 3D scenes look awesome. If you have any questions on this tutorial or any of my other new feature tutorials, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella and check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials. I love hearing from fans of the videos and talking about all these new features. And if you want a quick dose of other new features for R18, be sure to check out the other R18 videos I have up on YouTube by clicking on any of those thumbnails that are popping up there now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.